Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we made it out of Victory Road and made it to the Indigo Plateau. And since the last episode, like I said I would, I trained up all my Pokemon, up some levels, and uh, I decided on level 51. And this is actually still quite low uh, for the Elite Four, but I didn't want to over level. I still believe that the Elite Four will be a piece of cake for our team. <laughs> um, so yeah, honestly, I'm just going to go over the things now. It took about six hours in total today, training them all up, so yeah. Here's the move, Solar Beam, Giga Drain, Acid, and Toxic on Flytrap. I use the TMs for Toxic, Giga Drain, and Solar Beam. That we'd already got, I believe. Toxic was from Koga, and the other two are just... I think Giga Drain was from um, Erika, and Solar Beam was the uh, department store in Celadon. Uh, Acid we already had. Toxicated, the Earthquake, I, did, uh, I taught him Earthquake from the TM that we got from Giovanni. And he learned Mega Horn from like level 46, I believe it was. Um, Bigfoot, no new moves. Archetype learned Tri Attack, and it's a move that can cause the opponent to be burnt, frozen, or paralyzed. And we learned that at like level 44 or something like that. And I also taught him the TM for Thunder that we got at the Saladan department store. Um, Hurricane now a Steel Wing. Uh, I got rid of Feather Dance, even though it could have been quite nice. I just wanted to have. Fly and Aerial Ace, just so we could, you know, have to, you know, because Fly can go up for a turn, can't be hit, next turn, kind of inaccurate, well, 95 accuracy, and Aerial Ace never misses, so, you know what, Steel Wing, here it is, Steel type move, I it was a TM, I can't remember where we got it from, um, Shell Shock though, this took like an hour, I was just going around finding hidden items for like Nugget, Carbass, Iron, stuff like that, to sell, at uh, Celadon's game corner, so I could get the money for it and buy Ice Beam, which in total cost 80,000 money, um, which we didn't have that much, so we had to keep selling and selling stuff. So, yeah, we basically have a very small bag right now. Um, so, there we go, there's the team, and I'm gonna start up with Archetype for reasons you'll see in a moment, but basically, here. In the Indigo Plateau here, you have uh, the Pokemon Center, and here is basically just the Pokemon, and upstairs, you know, you can battle locally with your friends if you have the, uh, like, adapter. Well, I decided to buy 25 Hyper Potions and 25 Revives, and with that, we are heading inside, and this is the reason you want to start with an Electric Type, and the reason we started, we're just going to start with Archetype. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ah, ha, ha, are you ready? So basically, here we are. First memory of the Elite Four. And the reason that I put Archetype up first, uh, well, up front, is that most of the team are poor part water. Um, so yeah, it won't be that hard. But she starts off with Dugong, Water and Ice type Pokemon with the ability Thick Fat with the move Surf, Ice Beam, Hail and Safeguard. Now honestly, uh, Thunder, <laughs> didn't get to use it yet, um, 120 power and 85 accuracy, uh, actually it's 70% accuracy um, and would be great if we could actually land it but you know what, doesn't seem like Archetype wants to do, so we're going to use a Hyper Potion right after that. But, if we do get low, we do have Ethers and Alexas still. Alexa. <laughs> Elixirs. Um, so yeah, there's actually a hidden item for a Max Elixir in the um, like entrance of this place. So yeah, there we go. Thunder's actually going to land, and nearly four. Once you are entered, or once you've entered, there is no going back. So you beat the first one, you go to the second, you can't go back to the first or go and heal up. The only way of healing will you in here is what you've got in your bag. So, yep. <laughs> That's it. Cloystar, level 51, water and ice type Pokemon with ability shell armor with the move spikes spikes, dive, hail and protect. Now spikes just lay some spikes on the ground and makes it so when your Pokemon switches out, uh, well when you switch out of Pokemon. It will uh, deal rock-type damage. Um, 
I'm gonna stop using the thumbnail because it's starting to annoy me because it keeps missing. <laughs> Literally, like when training him up, oh, there's another gender, but I'm gonna say to him, um, when training him up, um, Thunder wasn't missing all that much. It was honestly, like, I'd say, like, 90% of the time it was actually hitting, and now it hit, like, once in, like, four times that we've tried doing it. Um, but now, yes, I'm definitely going to try and use the Thunder, as Slowbro is a pretty tough Pokemon. Uh, Slowbro level 52, Water Psychic type Pokemon. There we go, Thunder hit. With the moves Ice Beam, Surf, Amnesia, and Yawn. This thing could be pretty annoying, as it's a tank, and Yawn can... Uh, put your Pokemon to sleep after a few turns. Um, and Amnesia will just rise up its stats a bit. Just make it a bit more bulky and a bit more annoying, so... Yeah. Lapras, level 54. Water and Ice type Pokemon with the ability Water Absorb. Holding the Citrus Berry with the moves Body Slam, Confuse Ray, Surf and Ice Beam. Now, in this game, as we've already seen, uh, Gym Leader's highest Pokemon have not been using it Citrus Berries. Well, haven't had Citrus Berries on them. But the Elite Four do. So the Citrus Berry, once the, po once the uh, Pokemon holding it is below three quarters of its health, or well, two thirds of its health, it will heal up an uh, like another quarter. Um, there it is. <laughs> I think it heals up one sixth or one eighth. Can't exactly remember. But yep, yeah, there it is. And there we go. We did get the. Uh, we did paralyze it, but it's just going to use the full restore and heal up its status problem as well as its health. So, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we do still have Spark. I was going to try and get him Thunderbolt um, from the Celadon game corner, but I wasn't going to spend another 80,000. Um, you know, not that crazy. Surprise, are ya? <laughs> but anyway, Lapras is going down here, and I'm gonna have to use a max ether after this. Um, because Archetype has like three more thunders left, and he started off this battle with ten. So, <laughs> anyway, final Pokemon isn't actually part um, water. So, who are we gonna go into? You know, I actually don't really know. Actually, yeah. No, I do. <laughs> this is why it's great. And that the next playthrough that I do um, probably won't have me um, constantly talking about the Pokemon's, um, you know, the opponent's Pokemon and its moves and everything. Because it actually helped me out a lot. Here's Jinx, Ice Psychic type Pokemon with the ability Oblivious, with the moves Double Slap, Ice Punch, Lovely Kiss, and Attract. And see, the reason I didn't want to have it in is in case we didn't one shot it, it could have just used Psychic, but it doesn't even have a Psychic type move. So there we go, Roar Eyes down, and we are able to go onwards to the next member. You're better than I thought, go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. So, in the next episode, we are going to be taking on the second member of the Elite Four, being Bruno, the fighting type master. So, with that, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.